could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, all-American boy. Work, Foreman. I told Radford that Tim Evans is running up more fence and he's on his way over to the Nestor's place right now. Great. Guthrie, you come with me and we'll get Evans. Cash, you got your order straight? I got a good memory. Well, just make sure there's no gun play until we can use Evans and Radford's guns. I'll get Radford and his guns. You just worry about getting Evans' gun. All right, get up your mask. What's the matter? I was just thinking. Oh, boy, it's sure getting bad when you have to stop your horse to think. What's all the serious thought about? Oil. Oil? Well, who cares about oil? A lot of people. When I was a kid, I used to think I wanted to be an oil scout. Okay, I'll humor you. Tell me, what's an oil scout? Well, an oil scout looks for oil. I learned enough about it to recognize good prospecting land when I see it, like this. Come on. Whoa, where are we going? Up there. Way up there? And on foot? Come on, you might learn something. Besides, walking good for you, if you don't do too much of it. Silly ideas. Looking for oil that you don't want and on foot with our horses way down there. I tell you, there's oil up here. You can tell by the geological formation. The thing hey, hey! Fall. Our horses! Sounds like a war. That right hombre's headed right where the shooting's coming from. Let's go. Make Evans' gun look like he fired it, Guthrie. Boss, a couple of riders following me. Full freight. Everybody. Well, this fellow's dead. So's this one. Looks to me like these two men shot out a grudge. Sure does. Look at the ground, Dickie. It's just covered with prints. Say a half a dozen riders. They're only a few minutes old. See, maybe this wasn't just a feud shooting. I don't know. If there was oil in this country, they might be fighting over it. That's what I call a first-rate job of jumping at conclusions. But it could be. Hmm. 
could have sworn he was dead. He's pretty close to it. Somebody's in the shack. We'll take a look. I'll stay here and take care of this hombre. Be careful. surrounded. Better come out with your hands up, or we're coming in. And if we come in, we're coming in with guns blazing. Wait a minute, Dick, and I'll help you. I don't need any help. What do you think I am, a baby? I'll plug it. Well, I'll be gosh darn. <laughs> well, hi, little fella. What you got there? Boy, you sure had me fooled. Yes, sir. I thought there was at least half a dozen now who's in here. What's the next play, Foreman? You're Radford's foreman, ain't you? Or you were. So you follow Evans, and then you find out your boss and Evans killed each other, then you hightail it back to Radford's to tell his daughter her pa's dead. And then Foreman buys the Radford ranch. Not to mention that chicken yard size homestead of Evans. Okay. Radford hated me because I was a squatter trying to farm. I hated him because he made life so tough for me. He worried my wife right into her grave, but I didn't kill him. I didn't see anything, let alone Radford. At the time I got hit across the eyes by somebody's lariat. Well, that could have been done by a lariat, but... But what? There's something about it I just don't savvy. I don't see how a lariat could hit that hard just being swung. This one did. I'd be lucky if I get the use of my eyes back. Chumpin' grasshoppers. Over there, Dickie. Do I have to? How would you like it if nobody changed you when you were a baby? You were a baby at some time in your life, you know. Yeah, but... Go ahead. It'd be good practice when you get married. After all, you owe the baby something, you know. You pulled a gun on him. Very funny. Guthrie, foreman over at the Radford Ranch. That's Radford's horse, and... Where's Evans? Inside. Shot up pretty bad. By the looks of it, by your boss. Is Evans alive? That's right. Why are you so surprised? What's the difference? If you'll take my advice, stranger, you'll get out of here. There's gonna be trouble. Meaning what? We don't like squatters on this range. And when one of them shoots up a rancher, we've got an old-fashioned cure. We string them up. Oh, I don't think you're going to start any lynching party, Guthrie. You're going to stop me? Oh! Hey, partner! What's happening out there? Easy now. Whoops! 
steady. Oh, what a spot to be in. Not anymore. Tell the baby it's all over. He can relax. And you can go home. I'll notify the sheriff about Evans, nice and legal. And pick up your gun. Oh, come in, Bob. I made all the arrangements in town to take care of your pa, Miss Radford. Thanks, Bob. I still can't believe Tim Evans would kill Dad. No question he did. Well, on the way back, I met George Fallman. He uh, was interested in buying the ranch. And I'm interested in selling. Now. I figured you might be, so he rode along with me. He's outside. I might as well talk to him right away. Oh, uh, Mr. Foreman. Oh, you stubborn little cuss. <laughs> now, for the last time, will you drink this milk or won't you? <laughs> now look what you did. <laughs> Well, you'll just have to learn how to drink out of a cup like everybody else. Well, you're kind of cute, as babies go. Wish we could find some woman to take care of you like the range rider told us. Well, let's go have a look. Well, we'll call it a deal then. I'll go into town, have the papers drawn up. I'll be very happy to get rid of the place. And away from it. Can't say I blame you. Excuse me. Miss? Do you know anything about babies? Oh, look at the way you're holding the poor thing. I'll be back before long, Miss Ruth. I never had anything to do with babies before. Leastways on horseback. On horseback? Well, well you see, it was... I had no other way of getting him here. Hey, Paul. Well, that's the other one with that range rider. He don't think Evans did it. I don't like them horning in. We could do a little listening over at that window. Come on. You've got your nerve, Mr. West, bringing Tim Evans' baby here after Evans killed my father. Well, the baby had nothing to do with it. And besides, the range rider doesn't think there was enough proof against Evans. Why? Because there were signs of other riders around the place. I'd like to believe Evans didn't do it, but that doesn't sound very convincing. Well, did you ever think that this shooting might have something to do with oil? Oh, that's nonsense. And anyway, I'm selling the ranch to the gentleman who just left here, Mr. Fallman. Well, can you wait till I tell the range rider about this? No, my mind's made up. I've heard enough. Get the boys. And keep that kid out of the way until I get back from town with a deed of sale. I'll take care of the baby for a day or two, though. Mama. <laughs> There he is. Don't shoot the hit him. Make him raise his last.
the sheriff's office. I'll be glad to give you a written report on it, Sheriff. All right. That's the range rider. Heard him talking to the sheriff. Evans is too bad off to move. He's alone in the shack. Just might drop by on my way out to the Radford girls' place for a signature on this. Just one thing before we start drilling for wells. We better get results. <laughs> I haven't been an oil scout this long for nothing. It's there. But like I tell you, the oil dome's on Radford's and Evans' property, not yours. It better be. Who is it? George Foreman, Evans. Sure sorry to hear what happened. I didn't kill Radford. Well, maybe not, but it's going to take a lot of money to prove it. Well, maybe I can help you a little. Oh? Well, I want to add to my ranch. I know you've got a small spread, but it's a good one, and I can pay you good money. I was going to build a real place here for the kid, my wife. But I'll sell it. I think I got enough cash with me. Also, a bill of sale for him. Think you can sign it? I'll try. There's a pen on the bureau. the same, Range Rider. What about the baby? Don't you worry. Dickie's finding a woman to look after the baby. Well, I saw the sheriff. He said as long as you couldn't be moved that he'd send a deputy to stay here. Oh, and I saw the doctor. He was on his way. I sold the place. You sold it? Yeah. To George Fallman, a big rancher. He stopped by and I need some money for lawyers get my eyes fixed up. It was kind of sudden, wasn't it? Yeah. What's this? What's what? It's bogged up on the floor. Oh. Fallman must have forgotten it. He always carries one. Why? Just a habit. He learned the trick of using one from an Australian. Pretty proud of what he can do. I used to fool with these things. Kind of strange for a man to be carrying one, though. Evans, that cut across your eyes. Remember I told you all along I didn't think it was made by a lariat? But it could have been made by a bullwhip. You mean Foreman could have been behind this? Well, why do you want to buy your place? Said he wants more land. Can you say anything about oil rights? No. There's none on my place. I wrote the Far West Oil Company asking. They said no. There was another letter from in the mail I picked up this morning. Probably still in my pants pocket. Mr. Tim Evans, this is to confirm that our field agent, Mr. William Cass, reports that your property, as well as that of the adjoining Radford Ranch, gives no indication of being worth drilling. Yours sincerely, J.R. Grossman. There's no oil. Still, Fallman buys your place. And you get hit across the eyes with a bullwhip. Hey, Range Rider! Range Rider! Boy, have I been having a time. I, I got dry guts, bushwhacked, hit over the head, and, well, if it hadn't been for the baby's bottle, I wouldn't be here yet. Now start from the beginning. Well, I, I took the baby over to Miss Radford. And, well, she's selling her ranch. I thought of the oil and... Who's she selling it to? Uh, some rancher named, named Thelman or, or, or Foreman. But right today. Maybe you haven't lost your ranch yet, Evans. Come on. What's the matter? Are we stopping to think again? I've already thought. We're going about this in a different way. Now listen. Looks all right to me. And I must say, it's a very fair price, Mr. Fallon. Not too much. The ranch is worth it. Here. 
Now I'll put my John Hancock where it belongs and maybe Guthrie will sign as witness. Sure. Looking for George Fulton. He's in there, but he's busy now. Oh, I just want to return a whip that he lost. Oh, I see he has another one. I picked it up at his place on the way. Hey, what business is it of yours? Reach, mister. Now, who are you? Well, my name's Cass. William Cass? Dick, keep this so-called oil scout covered while I do a little business inside. Got him. Put your hands up, gentlemen. You're George Fallman? What of it? I brought your bull whips. I understand you're pretty proud of your ability to use them. Well, what's it to you? Well, I'm only an amateur myself, but there's a little game I aim to play with you. Outside. You're the range rider, aren't you? But what are you up to? I'll explain it to you later, Miss Radford. Now, Mr. Fallman, we each take a whip. We'll step inside of the circle. Find out which is the better man. First man to back down or step outside of the circle loses. <laughs> you sure are going to get the trouble you've been looking for. to see this. Man, it's been hit across the eyes with a bolt. Whoop. Can't see. Doesn't know who shot him or how he got shot. With a reef. Which is? Crooked. Oil scout. Got in cahoots with his neighbor and faked his report. because Fallman offered him a split if he'd help him get your property, Tim's, and Miss Radford's. And Guthrie was to come in for a third of the profit. When I think of how close I came to selling. What do you think of that little fella there? He sure was smart tearing up that bill of sale. Well, oh, he's a wonderful baby, Tim. <laughs> now I can build him a real home, thanks to the range rider and Dick. Well, I didn't know a bullwhip could be put to such good use. I found a new use for baby bottles. Thank you both. <laughs> Tim, you'll let me take care of the baby for a while until you're ready. You couldn't be in better hands. Mm. Ah. 